The Canon R5 Mark II and the Canon EOS R1 are two very high anticipated cameras that Canon will actually be releasing, hopefully, very, very soon. The Canon R5 Mark II will actually be arriving before the Canon R1, and there's actually a report earlier on that we'll be going over later if you missed about the new specs and when we'll actually see this camera be releasing. So as you can see, the Canon EOS R5 Mark II to arrive before the R1. There's been a lot of talk about the follow-up to the R5, and there's not actually been super reliable sources, but CR2s is like, it's not a fact to see. CR3 is a fact, but a CR2 is like a very good source. So this is coming from a very good source and actually told that the Canon R5 Mark II will likely arrive before the Canon EOS R1, but no time frame for either camera was given by the source. And then they actually did post back in November, like I mentioned earlier, but they haven't heard anything about this camera then. So if you actually don't know the rumored specs about the Canon EOS R5 Mark II, then we're gonna go through them now because I gotta admit, they look absolutely insane. So as you can see, before we get into the specs, it actually says that the Canon R5 Mark II is a camera that actually might be coming in the quarter two of 2023, which is probably around springtime, which is around April, May, maybe June. And this is very exciting because it's not actually that far away. We're already in February. So if this camera does get announced and released around that time, that's not a very long time to wait. So here are the actual rumored specs for the Canon R5 Mark II. So there's got a new 61 megapixel CMOS BSI sensor. Now a lot of people say in a Mark II version, they don't normally change the sensor of them back in like the 5D and 6D days. They don't really change the sensor in the Mark II. However, they did change the sensor in the R6 Mark II, so it's completely possible that they actually will change the sensor in the Canon R5 Mark II. Anyway, it's meant to have a dual digit X processor, which is gonna be make this camera capable of so much. That's actually ridiculous because the Digic X processor is amazing anyway. It's meant to have 30 frames per second with the electronic shutter and then 12 frames per second with the mechanical, which I think is the same on the mechanical side than the R5. I think it's 10 frames per second more on the electronic side over the Canon R5, which is the, a little bit less than the Canon R6 Mark II, but a little bit more obviously than the R5 what it is at the minute. It's going to have the exact same uh, eight stop IBIS and it's going to have a new high resolution mode similar to pixel shift found on Sony and Fujifilm. It's gonna have a, a digital teleconverter of two times, four times and eight times built into the camera. And then it's gonna have the same dual pixel autofocus two from the R3 and R6 Mark II, which is definitely gonna happen because why would they not put this in in their new cameras when all of the other cameras, even the Canon R8 has that same dual pixel autofocus two. And it's gonna have internal 8K 60 frames per second video recording. 8K raw video spec to be confirmed. So it's meant to have internal 4K 60. Sorry, no, it's meant to have 4K. No, it's going to have 8K 60 frames per second internal, which is without the need of an external recorder, which is absolutely ridiculous. And looking at these specs here, 61 megapixel sensor, 8K 60 frames per second. Like, what is the R1 going to be? How can the R1 top this? Unless it's going to be asking for ridiculous, like 100 megapixels or 8K 60 raw, uncropped, all of that stuff, because it's gonna cost an absolute fortune, the Canon R1. So when that camera does come, it's gonna blow everyone away, but it's also gonna blow everyone's money away as well. So that's gonna be ridiculous, and it's meant to have internal 4K 30, 60, 120, P video recording all by oversampling and I'd imagine from that 8K and full HD 240 frames per second so like super super slow mo in 1080p which is 1080p still good but obviously it's not as good as 4K and 8K obviously but for super super slow mo I'd happily accept that in any camera. It's going to also have focus breathing correction for video and it's also going to have a new overheat prevention design similar to the Canon EOS R6 Mark II and it's gonna be able to record for at least 40 minutes for 8K video and over. So obviously a big problem with the Canon R5 was the overheating. So if they actually can stop this and prevent it like they did on the R6 Mark II, this camera's gonna be even better because that was the main concern of the R5. The R5 didn't have overheating. People will be calling it one of the best cameras ever made, which it is still, even with the overheating, that's just obviously the biggest flaw with it. And it's also gonna have 60 minutes for 4K video, which I think is a 60 minute record limit, which isn't the best. Um, or sorry, no, not record limit, that will be 60 minutes where you can actually not get overheated. So you can have records for 60 minutes without it getting overheating. I'm not actually sure what that one is, to be fair. It's meant to have dual CF Express Type B card slots, which is pretty crazy considering the R5 has a CF Express and an SD card slot. And it's meant to have a standard HDMI port, not a micro, which is huge if you're a Canon fan because you know how annoying that micro is. Even on my Canon EOS R, it has a mini not a micro, which isn't too bad. It's meant to have dual USB-C ports, a 9.4 million dot 
EVF. It's also meant to have a new design of a very angle LCD monitor optimized for video shooting. So is it also going to actually be similar to the A7R5 LCD screen? And then launch time second quarter of 2023. So again, very far fetched. This camera is asking a lot and it's also going to ask for a lot of money. 8K60 internal video. What is the Canon R1 actually going to be able to do? How can it beat all this? It's going to cost probably around 10,000, 8 to 10,000 the R1 because these specs on the Canon R5 Mark II are ridiculous. This is going to be one of the best cameras ever if you can solve that overheating problem. So what do you think? It's going to come before the Canon R1 and it's meant to be coming in a couple of months time. So leave your comments down below what you actually think of this camera. I actually think it's going to be amazing, but I've got to admit, I don't think some of these specs are going to be true because they are just too good to be true at the end of the day, unless they're going to be asking for loads of money. So leave your thoughts down below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. See you later.